space is a luxury, but is it always worthwhile to pay 240,000 more for 120 square feet of space? Hello everyone, it's me again, Leanne from The Portfolio. Today we'll be analysing the four bedroom layouts at two developments in District 5, Normandum Park and Clavon. Normandum Park is a 99-year leasehold development sitting on a huge land plot of more than 600,000 square feet. It has a total of 1862 units across bedroom types of 1 to 5 bedroom and 22 terrace houses. It is expected to TOP in 2023. Clavon is a 99-year leasehold development with 640 units spread across two towers. It has bedroom types of 1 plus study to 5 bed and is expected to TOP in 2024. There are two different layouts for Normanton Park 4 bedroom, one of which is a 4 bed compact plus study, 1195 square feet, and the other is the 4 bed premium at 1313 square feet. At Clavon, there are a total of three different layouts for the 4 bedroom. Type D1, which is 1281 square feet, the 4 plus study D2, 1356 square feet, which is fully sold, and the 4 bedroom premium DP1, which is 1582 square feet. I'll be taking three different layouts that are most similar in size, namely Nomentum Park Compact Plus Study, the Premium, and the Clavon Type D1. The layouts of all three units are fairly similar, with some small differences, although the on paper sizes are 118 square feet apart. The starting prices of these layouts range from between 2.143 mil to 2.382 mil at this point of time. What should we consider if looking for a 4 bed? Now, most of the time, buyers are most concerned about the spaces in the living room and the bedrooms. So let's go into detail the sizes of both. The living rooms are measured by the combined space of the living area, the dining area and the dry kitchen. This is largest at Clavon Type D1 at 44 square meters, followed by Nomentum Park Premium 38.3 square meters and Nomentum Park Compact Plus Study at 36.4 square meters. The usable space in the three master bedrooms are fairly similar after taking into account a longer walkway for the Normanton Park Compact Plus Study. The common bedrooms in Clavon Type D1 are all 9 square meters at least. The ones at Normanton Park range between 7.9 square meters to 9.5 square meters. Depending on your usage, one square meter could make a difference. Another key difference would be in the balconies where Clavon Type D1 has the smallest balcony at 6 square meters. The balcony at Normanton Park Compact Plus Study is 12.6 square meters and 14.7 square meters for the premium. Both the balconies for the Normanton Park layouts also stretch across to bedroom 3. Now the size of balconies is something that is always being brought up. Some people love huge balconies, the bigger the better. Some feel the space could go to the living room instead. Something to think about though, personal preferences aside, would be whether a larger balcony will translate to a higher resale price in future. Because pricing in the resale market and perceived value behaves very differently from a new launch. One other key difference would be the number of bathrooms each layout has. Normanton Park Compact Plus Study has two bathrooms, Clavon Type D1 has three, and Normanton Park Premium has four. So now that we understand the various layouts, we can see that larger on-paper sizes do not directly equate to larger living rooms or larger room sizes or in the spaces that matter most to you. Let us now compare the prices. In order to make a fair comparison, I have pulled out the prices at similar levels depending on availability at this point of time. Normanton Park Compact Plus Study on level 14 is going at 2.193 mil. Clavon Type D1 on level 20 at 2.204 mil and Normanton Park Premium Type on level 14 at 2.316 mil. Given that the price difference between Normanton Park Compact Plus Study and Clavon Type D1 is only 11,000, my opinion would be to go for Clavon Type D1 as it has a slightly better layout. However, the difference between Clavon Type D1 and Normanton Park Premium is $112,000 for an extra bathroom. In this example, it may not be worthwhile. After all, the functionality of the three layouts are fairly similar. Now, if you're someone who prefers a bit more space and budget permits, there is one more 4 bed layout at Clavon, type DP1, 1582 square feet. Comes with a private lift and a living room layout that is more usually found in the high-end developments. 
the master bedroom is also larger at 26 square meters and it also comes with a proper study of 6 square meters. Do note that prices and availability are subject to change and any price movements on either development may change the conclusion of the analysis. If you need more information on selecting a layout, drop me a message. I'm always happy to help. My name is Lian Lo. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!